In this video, I'll show you how to create stunning visual effects with the latest Kling AI models. Traditional VFX require switching between tools for generation, lighting, compositing, camera work, and continuity. It slows everything down, but right now AI developed is far enough that it can be done all in one tool and without extremely complex skills. I'm choosing Kling specifically because it generates footage that's designed to be worked on, not footage that's already finished. Most video models bake in heavy lighting, color, and style, which immediately limits what you can do in post. Kling does the opposite Opposite. It gives me neutral, stable, raw-like clips with consistent motion and clean subject separation. That means I can easily use it to create amazing visual effects. And I'm going to show you how to create eight different visual effects and how to use them in a full sequence so that you can add any visual effect towards your raw footage with a simple step-by-step -step workflow. I'm using NVIDIA AI for this because it combines the new Kling models and advanced VFX tools in one interface. So you can open NVIDIA AI with the link in the description to follow along. So so the first visual effect that I'm going to create is called the Relight. The goal with this is to turn your raw footage into any different lighting style. Relight is extremely useful when you want to change the lighting of a clip you already recorded. It performs best in scenes with a single dominant light source, such as a street light, a window glow, or a spotlight, and it works especially well with raw footage that looks neutral, flat, and low contrast. So I open the in video, and in the home screen, I click on agents and model. In the model list, I choose Kling 01 as the working model, then click new project. Enter a project name and press create to open the project workspace. Now it's important to keep your base footage neutral. So flat lighting with no dramatic stylization, that gives the VFX house effects maximum flexibility. Inside the project interface, scroll down and select the Kling 2.6 model. Paste your raw footage prompt into the prompt area. So I'll use this exact prompt and choose the format and duration at the bottom. Format 16 by nine. Click generate and wait for the raw video to render. When the clip is ready, save it. Now switch to Kling Video 01 from the models panel below. Click the trends button next to it. In the menu that appears, choose VFX house. Inside the options, select relight. I'm now going to load the raw alley footage I just generated and I can transform the lighting using short descriptive prompts. So for example, I type this. Change the lighting from neutral night to dramatic neon cyberpunk with strong purple and blue highlights. This is a pretty simple prompt, but the outcome is great. Press generate, watch what happens here. The system applies the new lighting while keeping the same motion, composition, and timing. And I've done this with multiple different lighting styles, which came out looking like this. All with pretty simple prompts, but an amazing outcome. Now let's move to our second effect, which is the AI colorist. The AI colorist adjusts colors, contrast, saturation, and the overall cinematic look. Relight changes the lighting itself. It can transform a night shot into a day shot. Relight manipulates the virtual lighting setup. AI colorist manipulates the color and grade of the existing image. So for this, I go back to the model section, and for this effect, I'll generate a new base clip. So I use Kling 2.5 Turbo Pro, and I set the aspect ratio to 16 to nine. And I add my prompt, golden hour footage of a woman walking on a forest path, soft natural sunlight filtering through tall trees, light hair, pastel sky, no strong contrast, flat log style image, desaturated colors for perfect grading, smooth forward dolly shot, 24 frames per second, natural outdoor ambience, click generate. Once the raw footage is ready, save it. Now go back to Kling Video 01. Click Trends, VFX House, AI Colorist, and click Add Video to import the raw forest golden hour clip. In the AI Colorist prompt field, type this. Apply a rich cinematic teal and orange grade with high contrast and slightly desaturated greens for a dramatic movie look. Click generate and the same footage now has a completely different mood. You can create a second version from the same base clip with for example typing apply a rich cinematic dark weather lighting with everything cloudy, moody and darker overall. This eventually created this final video which looks pretty amazing. Now let's move to impaint and clean up. This removes or adds objects inside your scene. I created a new project and select Kling 2.5 Turbo Pro. Set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. In the prompt box write this neutral daylight shot of a messy sidewalk. A man casually walks past a wall covered with stickers, trash, and graffiti. A few random objects on the ground, bottle, paper cup, sign frame, clean log image, stable tripod shot, no dramatic lighting, perfect for object removal or adding new elements. Click generate. When the raw scene is ready, save it. Go to Kling Video 01, click trends, then VFX house, then select in paint and clean up. Click add video and import the raw messy sidewalk clip. 
In the prompt field, write this. Remove all trash from the ground and remove all stickers and graffiti from the wall. The wall must be completely clean. Click generate and you now have a clean minimal version of the same shot. Save this cleaned version. Now go again to trends, VFX house, in paint and clean up. Click add video and this time import the cleaned version. Type this prompt, add a small orange cat sitting near the wall and make an ultra realistic female graffiti portrait on the wall. Click generate and you now have a scene where the ground is clean except for the new cat and the wall is clean except for the new graffiti portrait. In paint and clean up is perfect when there's something you don't like in your shot or you can first clean the entire scene then add exactly what you want on top of that clean base. It's ideal for turning a messy location into a perfectly clean controlled environment. Where Relight changes the lighting and AI Colorist changes the color and mood, In Paint and Clean Up changes the actual content of the scene by removing or adding objects. The next one is going to be Prop Swap. This replaces objects in motion, even in fast paced scenes. Again, I'm choosing Kling 2.5 Turbo Pro and set your aspect ratio to 16 to 9. This will be a pretty complex scene, so my prompt is a powerful American football player in full gear runs forward on the field and prepares to throw the ball. The camera locks onto the football itself and tracks it smoothly throughout the entire shot. The background shows other players in motion, stadium lights, light haze and dynamic crowd movement. Lighting is neutral and flat, clean log style image with no stylization. The ball is clearly visible, centered often with slow rotation as the player lifts and throws it. You can see what I try to aim for with this. It's really testing the boundaries of AI. Click generate. Once the raw footage is generated, save it. Go to Kling Video 01, click trends, then choose prop swap. Make sure the aspect ratio is still 16 to 9 and click add video and upload the raw football throw clip. I've entered the following prompt. Replace the football with a glowing sci-fi energy orb that leaves a light trail as it moves through the air. Click generate. The system automatically detects the football in every frame and replaces it with a glowing sci-fi orb while maintaining motion consistency, which is pretty sick to see. Prop swap works on both static and moving objects. It can replace any object in a video. For example, items on a table, a phone someone is holding, a product or even a car emblem. It makes it extremely useful for product replacements, brand integrations and adding VFX elements. Even in complex motion like a football flying through the air, prop swap can track the object, preserve its physics and swap it seamlessly. The better your raw footage highlights the primary object with clear visibility, good tracking and neutral lighting, the cleaner the swap will look. Now let's get into the next one called Keylab. This handles background replacement. Keylab allows you to record against any plain wall and instantly transport your subject into fantasy environments, futuristic cities, harsh weather or space scenes. It preserves the original actor's movement, expression and timing. For this I used the Kling 2.6 as my base model. In the prompt field I wrote raw studio shot of a presenter standing in front of a completely clean evenly lit matte grey wall. No shadows, no textures, no color contamination, full body framing, soft diffuse lighting, neutral wardrobe, slow camera push in, click generate. Once generated go back into Kling video 01. Now in the VFX house choose Keylab. Now you can replace the background using simple text prompts like this. Replace the background with an active volcanic landscape, glowing lava rivers, falling ash particles and a massive eruption in the distance, keeping the presenter perfectly integrated, then generate. As you can see the presenter stays identical, but the world around him changes. You can create multiple variations, like I did with these other backgrounds. It's all the same presenter, same camera movement, but with a different virtual environment. Now let me show you the visual effect called Reframe. This generates new camera angles from a single shot. Reframe allows you to generate multiple multiple camera angles from a single raw clip. This feature keeps the same actor, the same movement, the same environment, the same timing, something that normally requires an entire film crew. It's important to use Kling 2.6 for the base image and I'm creating a war scene for this. I've generated my base image and will choose reframe in the VFX house list. I then type this prompt. Reframe this into a dynamic low angle over the shoulder shot during the gunfight, keeping all motion, environment and action perfectly consistent. Now you have a new angle, but with the same scene, same timing, same dust and muzzle flashes, you can create multiple camera angles from one clip. As you can see, I generated all these different angles with these different prompts and they all match the base video. Whether you need a close up, overhead shot, low angle action shot, 
squad or enemy pov reframe provides professional level visual variety instantly this dramatically enhances storytelling improves pacing and keeps viewers visually engaged next 3d texturizer this applies realistic materials to 3d models this model is especially valuable for architectural designers 3d render artists and industrial modelers with 3d texturizer creators can instantly generate hyper realistic textures without manually painting or uv mapping use the cling 2.5 turbo pro and set your aspect ratio to 16 to 9 paste this prompt raw turntable shot of a simple low poly 3d car model placed in a neutral gray studio environment matte shading no reflections no textures slow rotation 24 frames per second controlled lighting with this video choose the 3d turntable model in vfx house in the prompt field write this apply a hyper realistic metallic suv car texture with glossy reflections and subtle dust keeping the same model and motion click generate the system overlays the realistic metallic surface onto your low poly 3D model while maintaining the same rotation and animation, which comes out very nicely. Instead of spending hours or days preparing detailed material textures, 3D Texturizer allows you to produce highly polished outputs quickly and consistently. It dramatically speeds up the 3D workflow for product design, architecture, concept art, and vehicle design, bridging the gap between raw 3D models and final realistic renders. Before we get into our full sequence using all the effects into one video, I will show the continuity engine. This extends footage forward or backward in time. Continuity engine allows creators to extend any video forward or backward in time with the same characters, same environment, same style. It's perfect for storytelling, short films, commercial sequences, and action footage. In the prompt field, paste this and choose Kling 2.5, a cinematic shot of a Formula One driver racing at full speed on a professional track. The camera is positioned low beside the car, capturing intense motion blur, powerful engine vibrations, sparks scraping the ground, and sharp turns. The crowd and grandstands pass by in a fast blur. Then go to Trends, VFX House, then choose Continuity Engine. Click Add Video and upload your raw Formula One racing clip. In the prompt box, write this. Generate the previous shot in the same world where the Formula One driver is in the pit lane preparing for the race. The car is stationary while mechanics tighten bolts, inspect tires, lower the jack, and perform final checks. The lighting, color tone, and environment must match the main raising scene. Click generate and save the previous scene once it's ready. Now paste this. Generate the next shot in the same storyline where the Formula One driver is celebrating victory after winning the race. He stands on the podium holding a large trophy, smiling proudly as confetti falls and the crowd cheers. Click generate again and save this final victory scene. You now have a complete three shot sequence. Pit lane preparation, high speed racing, victory celebration. All scenes share the same character, same world, same lighting tone and same narrative continuity. I have used all these steps to build a video that has all the visual effects in one video, which turned out like this. You can create any VFX using the Kling models in NVIDIA and combine them with the VFX house models. So we just went from base footage to fully transformed cinematic VFX shots, all inside one workflow. Normally, this level of quality requires After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, and multiple rendering passes. This took under 10 minutes per effect. If you want to use NVIDIA yourself, you can find the link in the description. Now, if you're wondering about pricing, you can actually start completely free. NVIDIA gives you two video minutes and free credits per week to test the platform. No payment required. That lets you explore the workflow and see if it fits your needs before committing to anything. And when you're ready to scale, their pricing is built around how much you generate, not subscriptions that lock features away. The plus plan starts at $28 per month. The max plan is $50 per month. And the generative plan, which is built specifically for ads and films, is $100 per month. Every plan includes unlimited exports, image generations, and full access to all the VFX tools I just showed you. You're paying for what you create, not for access. That's why creators who produce consistently get significantly more value compared to traditional VFX software that charges hundreds per month just for the license. Once you've built this system once, you can generate multiple finished outputs from one NVIDIA project. The same system works for short clips or full cinematic sequences. If you want to try this yourself, open NVIDIA AI and test the Agents and Models plus VFX House workflow. The link is in the description. The future of VFX is not more tools, it's better systems. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.